channel. This is Michalico coming at you from Greece. We have finally made it after almost 24 hours of traveling. We're kind of next to a busy road, so forgive us, but this is our first ever tour guided destination. We'll be following a tour through the city and the Acropolis, the Parthenon. Everything's coming up next. I can't wait to tour the city with you guys, so we'll step up throw a couple facts your way and then come back and uh, let's get into it. Look at this, I am so excited. I feel like I'm Hercules. This is perfect. All right. This is where I always wanted to be. We are in Greece, in Athens, where Athena is from. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Like she said, Ella said, we're gonna, um, we just got dropped off downtown. Very uh, Alexandria vibes. It's totally like that. Um, it feels exactly like Alexandria. Uh, well, again, we're just on the northern part of the Mediterranean. And if you guys haven't seen our Mediterranean, our, our Mediterranean videos, our Alexandria video, well, I'll have that link below. This is gonna be amazing. I'm so, so excited. Let's go ahead and we're actually gonna go into the museum right now. So let's catch up with our tour and we're gonna go into the museum. Let's go, the modern museum. Hey, this is kind of new for Michelico, but hey, we got a, a little headset and we're listening to our tour guide. Kind of cool. Um, I'm really big on a Greek mythology. I love it all. I know it all really, really well. So it's cool to have a tour guide. I can answer all their questions. But look in the background here. We're in the museum. We've made it in here. This is where we are currently. Um, so we're going to go around the entire uh, pretty much area downtown. Uh, I'm very, very excited to tour you guys. I know you guys all want to see this. Um, we're going to give you our recommendations and then we'll grab a nice bite to eat. We are going to do a local restaurant here, um, but we'll spend about three to four hours in here. We're going to do even do this museum. It's just going to be amazing. I can't wait to show you guys all of downtown Athens. This is absolutely gorgeous and amazing and we're so thankful to be here. If you have been following along with our last couple videos, we've stayed at the Del Coronado in San Diego, California, and we just got back from the Gaylord Resort in Denver, Colorado, but now we're in Athens, Greece, and we said the pinnacle of having a resort is having a miniature. When you know <laughs> you're somewhere cool, this is a miniature of the Acropolis, which is like the collection of all the different things that used to be. It's not what it looks like anymore. Obviously, as you can see, the hilltop is the last of the remnants. Oh my gosh, there it is. Isn't that amazing? That's unbelievable. But right now, we find ourselves in the museum. I'm so happy that they were able to let us bring our camera in. We had to check our backpacks at no cost, but we're wandering around with our tour. We're not very good at sticking with tours. Uh, this is exactly what happened to us in Egypt, but it's really cool to listen to all these facts and the history throughout it and just absorb the, I don't know, wealth of knowledge that all these artifacts share. History. Yeah, and even when they were digging up the subway and digging up the museum, they it took so long because they found so many artifacts underneath it. So as you come in the entrance, you can see all the artifacts that they found, particularly underneath the museum, up on the walls. I just think Pretty that's Pretty amazing. Awesome. Uh, this definitely reminds me of when we were in uh, Egypt and they actually find all these. That's crazy. How old it's do you think that is? Totally Hercules vibes. You yeah. guys have watched the cartoon that like, we made ourselves watch it right before we came here. <laughs> love, love, love. <laughs> so we've made it to, I think, the top and third floor of the um, museum, which we're not big museum people, but it's been pretty cool. It's, it's been cool to see all this stuff. Everything's the same color. It's like pastel, I guess. Or, tan everything's kind of tan um it reminds me a lot of egypt a lot of it uh but it's a little bit different just, it, it was similar colors similar tones everyone kind of wears similar white kind of clothing but i mean look at that view up there so uh we went over that little miniature it's so cool because you can actually see the old and feel the old but it's integrated with the new city um and this reminds me a lot of how the Giza was. The pyramids were really the same way, where you see all the pictures of the pyramids, and then right behind it was the Nile, which is crazy, because the Nile is like right behind it, and as you saw the Nile, it's just like, this is where all the city is, and then here's the ancient. So it's really cool to see both of those, and again, look back up here at this, you can actually step back in time, and it's right in the city of Athens. 
We made it to the Parthenon. Okay, we are on the entrance, on our way in, the stairs behind me. We're gonna figure out how much it is to get inside. It's covered with our tour, but we're still gonna make our way inside and walk all the way to the top. I have no idea how long it is. Hopefully our tour guide mentions that, but I'm super excited to see it in person. How, we've, we've only seen it from afar. How much was the museum? And the museum was 10 euros. And if you translate that, I think our dollar is better than theirs, just by a little bit, but it's pretty much the same. Yeah, let's go. We have our ticket. Now, the entrance is open from 8 a.m. to 6.30. Every blog that I ever read said get here at 8, right when it opens, so it's completely empty. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, so we did not follow that guidance at all, but we're with our tour. Um, I can't wait to get a little closer. I know it's a lot more steps inside, but I'm ready. You guys seen this view? Kind of on top of the world. It was amazing. Look at that. I feel like I'm on Mount Olympus. I don't think this is Mount Olympus. <laughs> this is the Parthenon, but this is pretty amazing. What do you think? Oh my word, the history, it just smacks you in the face. There's so much going on. There's so many tours, so many people. You can tell this place is really popular, but the view, the view says it all. It's a lot like uh, Egypt where you get the awesome monument right in the background. We were just talking about that. And then there's a city, a huge city. Four million people right behind you. So pretty, right? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. Just a ton a sea of people. There's of people. The sea in the background and then the sea of people. That is crazy. So we finally made it to the top of the stairs. Gabriella, what do you think? This is a popular destination. This is a this is why they want you here at 8 a.m. because there's a, a million our tickets were 20 euros each and I feel like if you multiply by all these people, they're doing pretty good. 20 euros per ticket. So thankful we actually made it to the spot that we wanted to come to most. It is probably the most famous place. Iconic. Iconic. Yes. This is just like the pyramids in Giza. This is where you want to go. Look at that. That is the most iconic thing. We got a bunch of photos. Uh, you know, so many. <laughs> yeah, so many. It's about 30, 35 minutes away from the airport, and then pretty much all the lower part of uh, Athens is where you want to come. It's about 30, 45 minutes. Just depends on where you are. There's a lot of traffic in cars to get here. In addition, there's a lot of traffic with people once you get here. It is so crazy many how many people are here. Like I said, and he said, this is such a popular location. One of the things that Greece is known for the most. So obviously, it attracts so many people. We're not. In 2020 anymore oh, or like the remnants of 2021 yeah. 2022 is happening everybody's traveling everyone's here and there's so many tour guides going around and it's just very popular yep. so uh we were just gonna say that um it's actually really slippery too <laughs> yeah. all the rocks are the original marble mixed in with some of the pieces that they've brought more into today's age but yeah just wear a little bit more grip on your shoes than I wore and I wore tennis shoes it's crazy if it was raining here you're gonna fall down so yeah. you can only imagine but it's but beautiful and sunny it's... and obviously you can see why all the buildings are white because it is so sunny here <laughs> So where are we now? You know, I don't know what anything's called. We lost our group like an hour ago, so we don't have any facts for <laughs> you, but we're at the top with the flag behind me. Definitely, as you come up and you walk up the stairs, you see the beginning of it, and there's a big archway and an entryway, and then you see the front of it, and then you see the side, and it's kind of in shadow, and you gotta get to the back if you're coming in the middle of the day like we did with the crowds, because that's when the sun's hitting you, that's the most Instagrammable spot, I'd say, but I really like the flag in the background. Represent. <laughs> chug a lug a lug a lug a lug in. Low energy. Haven't eaten. Must feed me. <laughs> Where are you going now? Uh, brain. 
Okay, a we're restaurant. on our way to food that's included. I don't know what this restaurant is, but it's sponsored by Coca-Cola, so you know. <laughs> I'm a little tired, I need food. <laughs> We've actually made it to the Plaka, which is really cool. P-L-A-K-A, Plaka. Listen here, Plaka, it sounds like an insult to me. I got a wonderful Diet Coke. This might be my third one, I think. <laughs> uh, everything's in a bottle, it's so Euro, I love that. Uh, we are in the Plaka, we just had our meal here. Oh my gosh, the portions are insane. It's so much food. I think uh, Greece is one of those countries where everyone has a big meal in the middle of the day, so European. Like you have uh, something cool like a cigarette and a chocolate, a bar of chocolate for breakfast. Then you have a huge meal and then uh, maybe something small for dinner. That is so much food. We're so full. Uh, it was like a four course meal, three or four course meal, which is crazy. Very good. Um, overall, the ingredients and everything tasted really good, really fresh. I love the vegetables here. They're really good. But we're in the Plaka, as you guys can see behind us. It's really cool. The stones are really old. We're headed. We're headed back to where we began the video, uh, which were, was where Zeus' is, uh, house was and where the garden is, right? The National Garden. So we're gonna head over that way, continue to show you guys. This is gonna be a great video just to show you everything of Greece. We've really experienced so much so far. What a great video. We hope you guys are enjoying. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's continue back over to where uh, Zeus' house is. So we find ourselves just casually sitting in front of I want to say it's a government building, but we're in the National Botanical Gardens right now. We just hit so many crowds, and even in my research it says like you'll be wandering through um, with nobody around in a tranquil area enjoying the scenery. And that's exactly what's happening. There's a fountain in the distance. Beautiful. You can't really see it, but we'll, we'll get a little it. closer. <laughs> um, and then we'll probably wind up at the uh, Olympus Zeus's house. Yeah, Olympian of Zeus's temple house. and the arch and everything. They're really close in proximity. Same as the Plaka. We wandered over from the Plaka, got some food over there and made it over here. It is so extremely bright and everything is so, so white here. I can barely see, but... I love it. He loves it. He's from the hot weather. I need to get used to it, um, but... All in all, it's been a pretty incredible day and I just need to keep pinching myself and him, reminding ourselves that we're in Greece right now. We waited so long for this trip and I can't believe we're actually here. On to the next thing. We're at Mount Zeus's house. Zeus's house. I think it's um, Olympus of Zeus. We saved $8 by looking at it through the fence. <laughs> but there's like nothing left. There's only, I want to say 16 columns left out of 103. And this used to be the largest monument or um, I would say, yeah, Greek monument in Greece but it's crazy because there's nothing left and you go to the Parthenon and it's way bigger but this one was made for Zeus so you're anticipating it to be massive but like I said there's only a couple columns left. Okay so we're going to wrap up the video here. We've seen a lot of downtown Athens in Greece. Absolutely beautiful city. I would say it's fairly clean. Um, the weather has been fantastic. I love this weather. It's perfect. It's like 75 maybe 80 a little bit of sun a little bit of clouds this is absolutely perfect tons of monuments in the back so we started the video off like right here um and then went over and took the tour went to the the museum uh would i recommend the museum yeah maybe it's kind of cool it's actually you see a lot of sculptures there uh it's it's okay it's it's not the best it's not my our favorite thing i did like the tour guy they gave us a lot of info you have to go to the parthenon i keep on saying that wrong but you have to go to Par parthenon it's like the must, you have to. It has such a beautiful view. Uh, you should definitely check out this garden. It's really pretty as well. And then definitely check out the Plaka. All the things that we did, definitely I would recommend. The museum, we're not the biggest museum people. <laughs> uh, but it was, it was a great adventure. Again, just come see this city. There's so much culture. You have to go to a restaurant. You have to eat their food. 
and drink their water and, and it's just absolutely amazing here. Definitely indulge in the culture, the current culture, it's really nice. Uh, we are gonna be doing a review of the four seasons, that's right, one, two, three, four, seasons hotel. Um, at the, it's in Athens, but it's down by the water. We'll be doing that video next, so make sure to like and subscribe for that. Follow that, we're gonna be doing a, I don't know, a million star, I guess, cruise ship, which is gonna be amazing. So make sure to like, like, like and subscribe for that. And then we're gonna do Santorini, Rhodes, Crete, and all these other ones. So we got a long time that we're staying here in Greece. Cannot wait. Make sure to like, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.